Hey, I'm Matthew Muscoviak from CNET, and we're gonna take a look at the new user interface available for the Apple TV. Now, Apple announced a new hardware version of the Apple TV today at their press conference, but the new user interface that was showed off is actually already available for current Apple TV hardware. You just go, download the sof software update, and you can check it out right now. We've got the new update running on our Apple TV, and as you can see, it looks pretty different than the old one, especially on the home screen. It looks a lot more like an iOS device, like an iPad or an iPhone. As you can see, there are just big buttons, kind of a grid-like of apps that you can choose from. Along the top, you'll see there are icons for movies and TV shows, and those icons are gonna bring you to the iTunes Store, and that interface looks a little different too. In the iTunes Store, you'll see a carousel of different popular content along top, Along the menu on the top, you'll see a couple of new features. There is the Genius option, which is gonna give you recommendations for TV shows and movies based on content you've already seen. In movies, you'll also see that there's a new Purchased option, and that's for watching movies that you've already purchased and you wanna re-download again. That feature was already available for TV shows, and now it's available for movies too. Aside from the iTunes Store content, all the other services are pretty much the same. The only thing that's different is that they're outlaid in a big grid format, unlike the previous list style on the old Apple TV user interface. Once you go inside the Netflix or MLB.TV app, the interface looks a lot like the old style Apple TV interface, so there's not a real big upgrade there. So aside from the main home screen and some of the tweaks inside the iTunes Store, there's really not that much different about the new Apple TV interface. The new Apple TV hardware is coming out on March 16th, and that's gonna add the ability to do 1080p output. Also, content from the iTunes Store and Netflix will be available in 1080p. However, if you already have an old Apple TV, it sounds like it's not gonna be that big of an upgrade. I'm Matthew Muscoviak from CNET, and this is the new interface on the Apple TV.